Good afternoon. Do you know that student in middle school, student always has to borrow for a pencil? My experience is that people keep on asking pencil and then they never return it back to me. So what can a pencil really do for all of us? Amazing thing, it can write a fantastic poem, happy music, sad music, or life-changing education. It can sketch the future, give life untold to beauty, and communicate the full force of our love. It is important to have pencil to take notes with. Even if we have laptop, do we still need to use pencil and paper? The answer is yes. According in 2014, study conducted by the University of California, Los Angeles, students were split into two, two groups for five days. One group was using non-technology and, uh, and the other group learned in a technology-rich environment. After five days, the students were shown image and videos of emotion and the non-technology group was much better at realizing the emotion. The result was that non-technology student shown it's better for learning. Research shows that taking notes by pencils and paper is better for learning. Writing notes by hand is one of the most effective ways to retain new information. It keeps your brain sharp as you get older. Writing actually uses more of your brain the act of writing engages motor skill, memory, and is a good brain exercise. Writing improves memory. For classroom learning, using your laptop would be quicker, but writing notes by hand actually has a longer lasting effect on memory. Okay, back, back to pencil and student problem. I know a pencil is cheap, but every single time you want to buy one, it feels annoying. Um, if, if I wouldn't know if I have a pencil in my pencil case, would I get a pencil next day or next class? Well, the answer is probably yes or no. So for my quest project, I made a vending machine or you can call it this pencil. <laughs> if you put 1,000... <laughs> If you put 1,000 rupiah in the dispensal that I've made, you can get one pencil will came, came out from the dispensal. So this idea is to support the student learning, write things on paper instead of using a laptop. So in this one, I tried with a cardboard that I failed for the first time. So cardboard is actually not that good for making things, so it gotta be stronger. And then I use a wood that I laser cut in the iHub. So here's a video that I made for the first time and it doesn't work as what I want it. It works for two coins. The pencil will come out over there. Yeah. I did this project in the iHub with Pat Baxter that helped me to do this project. And I, lo I learned a lot of things with him. For example, how to use the machine that they have there or all the tools. And this Quest project made me interested in designing things because I really hate designing by my own. <laughs> I think that my project will help students by being prepared for their class so they don't have excuses. It also will not waste the teacher's time by looking for a pencil for the students. Use the dispensal that I made. They will be more prepared or they can just, I mean, sorry. They will be more prepared, able to take notes in paper and by, by pencil instead of using laptop. What is a challenging? One is that I need to get the, th I can't get the thing I can't get all the things that I needed to be to make the dispensal. For example, the motor have to be slow, strong, and small. And also, I need to find aluminum tape that I just found yesterday. <laughs> Two, I needed to make a different model as, as what I planned it to be. And number three, different model doesn't work as the same. 
in the future, if this pro project will well, I'll make more than one dispensal for the middle schooler. So they can be more prepared and they have it one in the village, one in the barn. So I put this box for one day and then two students try it and they say it's good, but it's boring because no color in it. <laughs> so thank you to Pak Baxter, Ibu Casey, Pak Francis, Ibu Nicola, Ibu Esther, Ibu Kylie, Ibu Jackie, Ibu Lala for helping me. Thank you. Yeah.